Hi, this is Jim of NJ Cigar and Whiskey. Today we are doing the review of the Bushmills 10 Single Malt paired with the Oliva V Melania in Robusto. As always with the pairing videos, I'm going to start with just the whiskey because the cigar absolutely changes the way you taste the whiskey. And this is the Bush Mills 10. It's a nice honey golden color. It's got some decent legs on it, as you can see there. This is a Middleton product, which means uh, it's made by the same distillers that make Jameson, uh, Redbreast, Green Spot, um, and Bush Mills blend. But this is actually the Bush Mills single malt. Uh, like we talked earlier in Irish whiskeys, you can have a single malt, you can have a single pot still, you can have a copper pot still, which is a blend of a single malt and a copper pot. And this is a single malt, which means the barley's malted, there's no peat in the process, it comes up with a slightly gentler taste than maybe a single pot still, which has got more of a peppermint. On the nose, that's like you'd expect it. A lot of honey, apple. Very oily, coats your mouth. Strong honey, reminds me a lot of Tircano single malt, which is actually a different distiller. So, um, very expected flavors out of the Bushmills 10. Costs about 40 to 43 dollars a bottle compares favorably if I had to draw a comparison with uh, red breast or green spot both middles and products I would probably compare it more to a green spot it's a little gentler more honey more floral less peppermint um, funny thing is there are some people who say that Bushmills was the Protestant whiskey and that maybe Jameson was the Catholic whiskey. Of course, an Irish whiskey, when things got into some trouble in the early 1900s, um, really in, in culminated in the 1960s, Irish distilleries you know, combined into one single corporation. And so there was definitely no such thing as a Protestant or Catholic whiskey then or now. There's just good Irish whiskey and Bushmills 10 qualifies. All right, now we're gonna move on to lighting our Oliva V Melania, which is a real treat. This was a cigar of the year, I believe back in 2016. Oh, that is just sweet hay and chocolate. Uh, this is gonna be a nice after dinner cigar. Pre draw flavors. Again, sweet hay. It's hard to toast out here with a little bit of wind. Not feeling like you're burning the cigar up. Wow, off the light, very desserty, very chocolatey, pretty thick smoke, pretty oily. So hopefully it'll hold up with the whiskey and hopefully it won't overpower it. Um, that's the start of the Melania. And so we will come back when we're about a third of the way in, see how everything pairs up. So we're about one third the way on the Melania and you can see that burn is absolutely perfect this is a box press it's a Robusto I think it's a four and a half by or maybe a five by fifty box press um, the the wrapper is an Ecuadorian Sumatra and 
the binder and filler are Nicaraguan, a little Lijero, a little Yalapa. Um, very smooth cigar. It's chocolatey. It's a little bit sweet earth on the finish. Very good smoke output, very easy draw. You can tell why it was the cigar of the year at some point because you can't, I haven't found anything to knock it yet. And quite frankly, smooth is the word of the day because the smooth cigar pairs really well with the smooth whiskey. Both are very oily, both very clingy, and their their flavors for me anyway, because they're both kind of sweet, they mesh well pretty pretty well together. So we will continue to uh, test out our pairing. We're gonna get the cigar down to about halfway. We'll probably peel off at least the bottom of these bands and uh, we'll check in in just a little bit. We're about halfway through. The Melania. And we're gonna peel, oh, we didn't want the ash as I went to peel that off. It's the second time it fell off. Flavor profiles haven't really changed. It's still sweet earth, a little bit of cocoa, and a very smooth, slight tingle in your tongue, but I'm not sure if that's coming from the whiskey or the cigar, maybe a combination of both. With respect to the Bushmills, again, no real changes, even with while I'm smoking the cigar. It really holds up well against the Melania. Something interesting uh, about the Bushmills is that it is aged in, uh, according to the bottle anywhere, in two woods. Um, not, I believe what that means is, is it is aged in both old bourbon casks. And I think, not sure, you can check me and leave a comment if you want. It's also aged in sherry casks because you get a little bit of that sweet sherry note um, on the back end of that whiskey. All adds up to a very pleasant experience. We're gonna smoke this down to the last third, see how the whiskey holds up. Hope everybody's doing okay. And we'll let you know when we come back. We're getting down to the nub. You can see that ash is holding on and the ash has already come off in two big chunks. And you can see the flawless burn. I mean, you, know, you talk about great construction, especially for a box press. They typically don't burn evenly, but this one really has. Truly enjoyable experience smoking the uh, Oliva V Melania. No, I, I did look it up. <coughs> 2014 was the year it was the cigar of the year no question as to why constantly rated highly in the 94 96s um, again go goes really well with the light but oily sort of subtly strong Bushmills single malt 10 aged 10 years before bottled smoke output as you can see in the video is fantastic a lot of nice billowy smoke um, very oily clingy and I don't like to really talk about body and strength until you get closer to the end because a lot of times you don't know for in terms of body which is like flavor profile I would call this a medium to full body it's subtle but it, it's definitely very flavorful and pairs very well with the subtle but very flavorable, uh, flavorful whiskey. And in terms of strength, now this is just a Robusto, so you're only talking about a five inch smoke. You're probably talking about at max a 50 ring. But didn't get that lightheaded feel. I would call this a medium strength cigar. Um, perfect for after dinner sort of almost like a desserty cigar and you feel like you had a maybe a pretty nice piece of cake or something but 
you don't get the calories. So if you like this pairing, I'd strongly recommend it. This is the Bushmills 10 Irish Whiskey. Triple distilled, made in the Bushmills Distillery that's been open since 1608, survived English taxes, survived world wars, survived prohibition, and continues to make whiskey this day under the Middleton flag. Paired with the 2014 Cigar of the Year, Melania V, or Oliva V Melania. Um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, we want to get our viewership up. My son, Tim, who is my cameraman today, is telling me I need to put out more videos on a consistent basis, so I will work on that. It's been a little bit busy this past month, but we'll work on our consistency. And please leave a comment, because I'd like to hear from everybody. Uh, from us to you, hope you have a great day. And we'll catch you on the next video. Slancha.